Hi, I'm Lee up in Maine here. And, uh, oh boy, it's four degrees today. <laughs> oh, and that's the way it is up here. And uh, the hardest thing about up this area, like any northern region, is dealing with the elements of winter. Rain, snow, sleet, you name all that good stuff. Anybody can play in the sun, work in the sun, but it's a little harder in the snow and cold. Well, today I've been uh, doing a job out here in the woods, and uh, one thing I always tell everybody, always be prepared, okay? Now, I've talked about survival kits and go kits, and I'm going to show you one. That's a go kit right there that I have. It's a knapsack. I have two of them. I used to carry them both on the same side of the truck. Now on, after a recent uh, snowstorm, I realized I'd have to carry them one on each side. This is my one-day kit. On the other side of the truck, it's identical, except for it has a marking to be a three-day kit. Now, why do I have two? Okay, if I'm only going in the woods a short distance or to a area backpacking, skiing, it might be just a one-day kit, but other times I might have to go farther back in or on top of a mountain, I'm going to take the three-day kit. You never know what can happen, so I'm going to be prepared. Now today I'm kind of lucky because they snow plowed this road so I could drive out here, but I'm still dealing with four degrees temperature. I am out here by myself and just finished up the job and now I'm going to go back and inventory the pot that I just replaced and I figured well while I'm out here I'll share a video to show you what the country looks like out here so uh, what I'm going to do first is I just ride back at the site here and I'm going to set the tripod up and then we'll get to uh, do a quick inventory. Look at that. I turned the camera crooked, huh? Then we'll do a quick inventory. And then I'll show you a little bit about the site here, about the uh, wilderness. Okay. And uh, let's see. We'll set this right about like that. Good. All right. And like I said, I'm just going to do a quick inventory and then uh, show you around out in the woods there how beautiful it is. Even at this time of the day, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is going down. So I'm trying to move her along really quick because I've been at it since early, early this morning and uh, I like to finish up the last job of the day and then get some hot soup and coffee. And let's see, one more thing. And let's see, oh my gosh, nice and warm in here. No room for me to step inside there. Okay, that's done. All right, I can close this unit up and uh, we'll take a walk around the site here. Now this is called a cell site. It's for communications, for cell phones. Okay, that's simple. It also, uh, Sometimes has other type of utilities, you know, local town, or public uh, police, you know, they're, they're, they all have to have antennas and they got to go on some towers. So you never know what tower you're going to. Every tower is different. Every antenna setup is different. So uh, what's nice about this site, we're located in Auburn, Maine, and I'm going to scan the area real quick so you can get to see the beauty around here. And uh, that's looking back to the entrance area. And you can see the beautiful pine trees. And we've got about a foot to two feet snow. Has a good crust on it because Monday night it rained and snowed alternately about four to five different times throughout the night on Monday night. And uh, of course I was working in it. It was wet and cold and you name it. <laughs> Okay, now we're looking back towards the uh, west off the site, and there's the sunset right over there, okay? So let me look uh, towards the tower, and here we are. 
And this is the tower at this uh, location. Okay. And uh, now we'll walk back over to the, uh, the vehicle. I'm parked right outside the fenced area there. And you probably can hear the crunchy of the snow because, like I mentioned, it's hard as a rock on top. And once in a while I break through. When I am out here, I'm always being aware of my surroundings because there's been times I've uh, met wild animals. Anywhere from a moose to deer to a skunk, raccoon, a little bit anything like that. You never know what you might find. And as you see, it's just beautiful out here. That's one of the, uh, the best parts of working out in the field. I also be very prepared that uh, it's nice to know to let people know where you are in case you slip, fall, or whatever. So I do myself, I wear what they got the, what they call the spot. So if I need help, I can push the 911 button. If uh, I'm just gonna let people know that I'm done a job out here, but I got a snowshoe out of here, and it's quite a ways to snowshoe out on a time, or nighttime, daytime, whatever it may be, I'll push the OK button. That's to let them know that I'm okay, I'm out of here, I've done what I had to do, and, uh, but don't worry, but I'm just letting you know that I'm okay at this point. So, uh, handy little item. In the ham radio, we also have one which is called APRS, and I have one of those in the truck. And it's listed under W1LWT-1. And many a times when I go skiing, snowshoeing, ice fishing, uh, hunting, traveling you'll see wherever I am and you can go to my webpage www.w1lwt.com and you'll see where where's Lee today now recently I got that unit setting out in my field in my uh, ham shack out there and uh, doing some testing on it but it's going to go back in the truck again it's coming up on the holidays the weather's not uh, looking good at times the temperatures are dropping I want to make sure people can find me if the time comes. Well, that's it for this session today. I enjoyed it very much. I'm going to be back with more future. This is my, one of my very first videos. I've never talked just to a camera before. I've interviewed people. I've done it that way, but I've never done it as myself. So this is going to be fun, I hope. So uh, take care. We'll see you on the next video coming up. W1 LWT Lee in Maine.